Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this little video, I wanted to tell you about my experience with Voom bikes and just toddler bikes in general. Uh, my daughter turned four pretty recently, so we upgraded her to this uh, Voom 3. But when, we fir when she first started riding, I wanna say she was around two years old, maybe even younger, we got her this uh, Amazon.com, it's not Amazon.com bike, but that's where we got it from. Uh, all steel, what do they call it, uh, balance bike, so it had no pedals. And it was heavy and kind of cheap, it w not kind of, it was cheaply made, it was pretty rough. Um, but it did the job and she actually loved it, that's where she learned to you know balance bike she never had training wheels we went that route no training wheel route and i think that's for the best i did question that a couple times during the the process but now that she's riding really good i'm i, I definitely lean towards the no training wheel route anyway with the balance bike she did get good at that pretty quickly she liked it we set the seat all the way low she liked it we would ride all around the block and stuff and she got pretty good and pretty fast on that balance bike uh, when she turned three, right around her third birthday, we went ahead and got her the Voom 2. Uh, and had the Voom 2 has the pedals. There is a Voom 1. I uh, never had that one, but it has no pedals if you go with the 1. We went, we went, went ahead and started with the Voom 2, and these are pretty expensive. The thing is, is like I don't know how much these are new. Probably, I'm just going to throw a number out, $320 to $400, depending on what options you get and stuff like that. But we bought this one used and paid 290 for it, which I think is seems kind of crazy for a little little kid bike. But I had a plan behind it, and I think the plan is going to work out. But the plan was to buy the bike for 290 used, so I'm not having to pay, you know, uh, take that hit right when you buy a new thing. Like you buy a new bike for 400 bucks, let's say, and then you know it's used, so it's worth 300. So we bought it used, you know, gently used. It was in great condition. It still is in great condition. And uh, yeah, she actually really liked it, but the only problem is she wasn't ready at three years old uh, to go with the pedals. So what we did is we took the pedals off and she used it again as a balance bike almost all through her three, her third year. And uh, she loved it. She ri We actually used this bike quite a bit. So we spent 290. Our idea was that when she was ready to upgrade, we would just sell it for hopefully similar price that we, that we bought it and then just spend just a little more for the next level and you know kind of go like that so you buy it once but you just get your money back when you go to sell that was kind of my idea rather than buying a 70 or 100 dollar cheap bike and then it being worth basically nothing in fact just a couple weeks ago i picked up these three uh, little girl bikes off the garbage somebody was throwing away and I, I forget the brand like huffy or something like that they were probably 70 bucks new or something and now they're worth nothing they're on the garbage pile i cleaned them up i spent about 30 minutes just cleaning them with soap and water pumping the tires up i was only able to resell those for 25 bucks for the three i sold two of them for ten dollars and one of them for 15 or something like that so i mean those cheap children's bikes basically worth almost nothing after they're kind of used well used and they just don't hold up as well whereas this one we're the second owner i believe and it's still in great shape, great shape. And it's, it's actually like good quality. I'll, I'll bring you in on some of the close-ups in a minute. But yeah, I mean, this it's all aluminum frame, first of all. It's uh, including the aluminum fork, uh, aluminum handlebars, I believe alloy wheels. You know, it's actually high quality. It's like what you would expect on an, an adult bike for, you know, 700 to $1,000 range, perhaps. Um, and it's also the cool thing about it, unlike some of the, unlike some of the children's bikes, like they actually do a really good job of trying to think about the kids that are actually riding them. So it has like small brake levers that have adjustable position, uh, smaller crank arms. I think these are, I don't know, they're very small. They get slightly bigger at the next level. So it's actually a very good quality bike. This thing stops, has really large brake pads front and back. So it just, it, it's just a nice, nice bike. Single speed at this, this stage. And I know there's other brands. We just went with the Voom because it's very popular. Uh, this bike was built in Cambodia, but it's an Austrian brand designed in Austria, assembled in the US. It even says, at least this one says, assembled by Paul, or maybe not assembled, quality controlled by Paul, made in Cambodia, designed with love, in Austria, what's it say? Uh, not kangaroos, Mozart. So a little bit of comedy in there. The brand seems pretty cool. And I, uh, I've contacted them a couple times for different things. Like we needed to adjust the 
uh, headset in this, tighten it up a bit. So I actually did buy for like 10 bucks the special tool to adjust this headset. And uh, they, they're just a cool company and uh, they make a great, great bike. So anyway, back to my story. At around almost age four, she started saying, I want to uh, use my pedals. Unfortunately, about, by that time we'd lost her pedal, so I ended up ordering a new set from them. I don't remember the price, so let's say 15 bucks. Uh, so I wanted the, you know, like original pedals, which actually are these, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And uh, pretty quickly she learned to pedal and she was riding this thing super well, like really well, doing tricks even, putting her feet up on the top tube, just, I mean, really, it's been really fun watching her learn to ride a bike properly. But that was when she was getting close to the age of four and she's a, a pretty tall girl and she was already outgrowing it. We were getting the seat pretty high and she just looked large on the bike. And the other thing is, is she was go, she wanted to go faster and this is a single speed and it's kind of geared kind of low, I would say. Uh, so she was running out of gear. She was, you know, pedaling like crazy just to, to ride at a certain speed. So. So then we decided again to look used and I found a great deal on this one. This is the next level up, it's a Voom 3. And I say Voom because uh, it's Austrian, so it's German speaking and uh, the W has a more of a V sound. So it's a Voom, I think that's the right pronunciation, not Voom. So it's a Voom 3. And this one I got a great deal on though. We paid 220 bucks. I didn't even ask the lady to lower the price any. Uh, bought this one just about a week ago. I had to drive about an hour further than a, you know, what, about an hour total actually from our, our house. But it's a great deal. She, her sister had bought it new and her niece never rode it, like ever. I mean, it's basically a brand new bike. It had uh, tires were flat and oddly the chain was off and the back wheel was loose. So I'm not sure what was going on there, but I simply, you know, tightened it down. I think maybe they never, never even got it assembled completely. I went through the whole thing everything else was fine and my daughter loves riding this bike she's only rode it a few times but she picked up on that just right away and she's riding great on this and it fits her really nicely so now we're going to get ready to sell this one i paid 290 for it. i'm going to post it for 290 maybe i won't quite get that much but you know we'll see where we go and that'll pay for that one so you know it's it's i think it's the way to go to so you pay the amount up front but as long as you don't mind buying and selling, especially used, then you can just kind of stay on that same money for several years probably, we'll see. And meanwhile, your, your child has a high quality bike rather than a junker bike that you nearly have to throw away after they're done. So, so far we're really happy with our kind of upper end kids bike journey. The one thing I did do to this new one though is, well the basket, that was on the old one. I took the basket from the old one, put it on the new one. This is just some $10 Amazon thing, but actually she loves it. She actually uses it too, putting um, books in it and for her stuffed animals and stuff like that. The other thing is, oh, I mentioned that we replaced the uh, pedals on this one. They were apparently upgraded pedals or something because they're like the wider, these are kind of the wider Pedals give you a little bit more, and I actually think I noticed she does better with these than these. These sometimes her foot was kind of, but I mean she can ride it. But this one, like these are better pedals, so I swapped the pedals, and also I think this was an upgraded kickstand they had on this one as well. So I swapped the kickstand. Has this uh, back type of kickstand that way the pedal can can move freely when they're moving the bike around. They don't have to deal with that. Whereas over here we have this more standard one. But this one's still a great bike. It rides absolutely perfectly. It has just a couple tiny scratches. It's actually in excellent condition. It you know, can have many, many more years of use. All I wanted to say about this video is basically that you know, if you have the means to do it, I would recommend buying a quality bike like the Voom or there's probably some other brands. We just kind of found this one and just really liked it right away. But there's other brands too, I'm sure, that are kind of similar. But uh, yeah, I, I would recommend going that route. That way your kid gets a high quality bike. You actually may end up spending less in the long run. I'm not really sure about that, but you probably won't be spending any more because you can resell rather than to basically throw away or almost give away. Yeah, they're good bikes and um, that's been our experience. So, well, anyway, that's about all I wanted to say about it. How have you guys done it? If you have any little kids or did in the past or do now, what kind of bikes do you guys like or what experience did you have either buying the lower end ones, middle or upper end uh, bicycles? I'd love to hear it and thanks everybody for watching. See you next time. Bye.